phenomenon. Not because I am the best in the world, far from it, but because they see the sweat, they see the hard work, they see the dedication, they see that I respect them a lot when it comes to content creation. They see that I do not take what they see when it comes to film for granted. Frederick Leonard, a popular Nigerian actor, has been one such voice using his platform to shed light on the realities and challenge faced by Nigerian. Before we continue, if you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button and turn the bell notification on for more updates. In this video, we explore Frederick Leonard Courageous on the truth about what is happening in Nigeria. Frederick Leonard's journey from a successful actor to social advocate has been remarkable. He recognized that his fame could be a powerful tool for change and he decided to use it to speak out on behalf of his fellow Nigerians. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. you feel that you are not accepted somewhere, then go to your place and go and develop it. Oh yes, a lot of people might not like this, but if you don't like it, then tell me your own solution. Tell me, your, let me know your solution. You don't like it. You don't like the way you're treated. Go and make your place. Paradise. People would come. Whatever product you, 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 you create, if it is good, people would look for you. So you don't have to be at a particular place to excel. So I don't understand why Lagos State, for example, is over contested. It, it does not make sense to me. So let's leave all this plenty talk. If you feel that you're not welcome, that you're not treated right in a particular place, go to your place. You have the finance, you have the human resources. Go and develop it. It is one big Nigeria, really. So the, the concentration in Lagos does not really make sense to me. And people tell me that that cannot be where all of the opportunities in the world is. God is not that small-minded. All right? The blessings of God are everywhere has given us everything, all the tools that we need, you know, to create magic wherever we choose. So, uh, whether Lagos, whether New York, you know, that you find so attractive today to go and to earn a living, a couple of persons came together and made it that good, and today you're a beneficiary. You too can start a process. So if you don't like what they do to you at a particular place, it's okay, it's bad, don't get me wrong. But then, what's the solution? Since we're not preaching violence, then what's the solution? I'm not preaching. I'm not one to talk, talk, talk. I'm one for action. Go to your place and develop it. Make it attractive as well. So today I'm here to talk about you and I. Um, there's a lot of complaint about, you know, the worst of us leading the best of us. The question is, what's the percentage of the best of us, really? It's really small. I dare to say anywhere between 9 to 11% out of a hundred yes so the question is are you a good person people castigate complain criticize the leadership that we have today in my country all over the world are you a good person you know the level of entitlement too is a problem a lot of individuals think that it's only until you become a statesman you become a governor you become a president then you have to become a good person. Then you have to become responsible. In your little ways, I see people who are given contracts. They don't even pay their staff. I see people who are asked to do A and they do B. I see how we carry on with our daily lives. We see normal, right-thinking human beings doing one way. I, it's, so how do you live your life as an individual? Nigeria cannot be great if you and I decide not to be great. For it's amongst us that our leaders are, are selected. It's, it's simple. I'm saying this plainly very simple english so that you don't misunderstand me we cannot be great if we are not good people individually are you a good person what kind of life do you live if you're paid for work do you show up when you're asked to show up do you deliver do you pay your staff the contract you got how did you do it you know, are you a sincere person? Are you are you are you God fearing? If you're Muslim, do you are you do you respect your Creator? What kind of life do you live as an individual? Keep government aside, because one day, just one day, you might become the next governor of your state, and your trashy lifestyle is exactly what you're going to take into government house. 
So as much as we blame the leaders, let's also look in words and see if we're we'll living a good life as a people. Shalom. And I will done.